everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and a new episode of the holidays are coming. Today we're going to revisit a classic, a recipe that's included in my cookbook, Cocos and Cookies and More Galore. We're going to be making orange spice or Russian tea. Come on and see how we make this. Okay, so to get started, we're going to make this delicious orange spice tea, or some of you may know it as Russian spice tea. This is a real throwback to when I was growing up. This is actually my mother's recipe. I don't know who she got it from, but you know, this makes the rounds. When you're a kid, I think everybody, maybe not everybody, but many people that I know grew up with this and really enjoy it. And with that first mm. real cold snap... I didn't grow up with it. That's why I enjoy it now. Oh, really? You, you didn't no. have this when you were a kid? No. Oh, he really, really likes it. And every time, every year when we get that first cold, he he, he really wants it. So tell him why you thought about it today. Because of those wax pots, scents. Yeah, because I have a, a wax pot going that smells very similar to this. So anyway, um, just so you know, this recipe is available in my cookbook, Coco's and cookies and more galore and um, this can be picked up you can get the link to my website or actually down below the video it's available on lulu.com and this is a super easy recipe um, orange spice tea Russian tea what I have in the bowl is two cups of instant lemon flavored sweetened iced tea mix so like Limpton instant iced tea with lemon this has sugar in it as well so that goes in the bowl and we're doing it in the mixer because... We are doing it in the mixer because it's easy to mix this way with the whisk attachment. And, um, you know, my mixer's not dead yet. So, and what I have here... It can probably handle this. Yeah, it can handle a lot of things still, I think. But, you know, that doesn't stop us. This is a unsweetened instant iced tea mix. And it looks like this. This is the only unsweetened instant tea I can find. So that's probably going to be the same thing for you. This is a cup of Tang, or instant orange drink mix. And this obviously is a sweet beverage, so just be warned. It's very delicious. How much does it make? A lot. So drink the, don't drink the whole lot. Well, you only use two tablespoons to a cup of hot water, so... You know, what I just put in there was a cup of granulated sugar. And now we're going to put in a tablespoon of cinnamon. This, of course, is to your taste. But there's a lot of drink mix here, so a tablespoon of cinnamon isn't that much. And we're also going to use a teaspoon of ground cloves. or thereabouts. Okay, I'm going to stick this on the mixer. And let it go. This has mixed thoroughly. Just give it a few minutes. If you think that your mixer isn't mixing it all the way, or if you don't want to use a mixer, you can just whisk it together by hand or use a wooden spoon or whatever it is you like to do. So go ahead and you want to store this in an airtight container or in a mason jar. You can divide it up into several different jelly jars. This makes a wonderful Christmas gift. Um, it makes a wonderful hostess gift. It makes a lovely treat for the holiday time or any time when it's cold and you want something to kind of warm you from your core, this is going to do that. You can make this, you can float fresh lemon or orange slices in it, it's going to be delicious. I'm going to go ahead and make some hot water and I'm going to come back and I'm going to make you a cup of this delicious orange or Russian spice tea. I've got us all set up so that we can have, we can make some of this tea. 
Now these are kind of big mugs and they hold about two cups each. So I put a quarter of a cup of mix in the bottom of each cup. I happen to like it flavored pretty strongly and so does Rick. So just fill it up and give it a good stir and dissolve all of that tea in the bottom. Now it's going to get a nice little foam on the top and it's going to look a little bit on the orange side and that's exactly how you want it. Give it a good stir and then if you have to add a little more water to your cup then you can do that. Just make sure everything is nicely dissolved. There you go. Some delicious orange spice tea. Or Russian tea as the case may be. I gotta taste it make sure it's right. Oh, that's good. That's perfect. Mmm. Remember this recipe is available in Cocos and Cookies and More Galore. The links are below, and you can always get to them from my website. They're in the right-hand column as you go over there. So I hope that you give this a try, and I hope that you love it. And until next time, happy holidays! Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!